Can a simple steak break ancient rules? What happens when we challenge a 3,000 year old food taboo? Stay tuned as we dive into a culinary mystery that's baffled minds for millennia. The laws of mixing meat and milk are based based on the biblical prohibition. Do not cook a kid in its mother's milk, which is mentioned three times in the Torah. Once for the prohibition of cooking, once for the prohibition of eating, and once for the prohibition of deriving benefit. Deriving benefit means making money from uh, a non-kosher food. The prohibition against eating is derived from the cooking language to indicate that by the Torah, it is only forbidden if cooked. But rabbinic laws forbids it in any form. The term kiv is not really specific. The same law applies to beef, sheep, and goat. And, there's a, and it doesn't matter whether uh, it is the milk of its mother or that it's any milk from any other animal. The scripture speaks in the present tense. The law applies only to pure animals. Pure animals are kosher animals, such as meat of a pure animal cooked in the milk of a pure animal. However, the meat of a pure animal cooked in the milk of an impure animal or the meat of an impure animal in the milk of a pure, of a pure one as well as the meat of a wild animal of wild animals and birds cooked in a pure milk is only rabbinically forbidden and is not forbidden from torah but since rabbinically uh, 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 when something is rabbinically forbidden it becomes it becomes a uh, menagas role and then automatically becomes a commandment these are permitted in, in cooking and deriving benefit. Eggs found in birds are permitted to be eaten with milk, provided that they are fully formed. If they are not fully formed, they are considered like the meat of the bird itself. But what is actually considered as fully formed? Rashba wrote that as long as it has both the egg white and yolk, even if it's covered in veins, it is considered fully formed. If it only has the yolk, it is still considered meat. Rush explains, though, that the yolk is finished and it is still red and covered like the placenta of eggs connected in a cluster. It is permitted, and from his words, it seems that uh, it, uh, he even permits if there is no egg white yet. Fish and locusts are permitted to be eaten with milk. The Rambam wrote that one who cooks in the hot springs of Tiberias or smokes and blood cooked in milk is exempt from punishment for eating meat cooked in milk. One who cooks in after birth in milk is liable and one who eats it. One who cooks the placenta or the skin, veins, bones or even soft cartilage of the horns is mi in milk is exempt and so is one who eats the exempt. One who cooks in milk water or the milk of a dead animal or male milk is exempt and the rush wrote that when is not included in the category of milk water and is forbidden by by the torah milk water is only when all the food substance such as after all the cheese had been made is cooked in milk and the food substance floats on the top leaving only water this is what is called milk water the milk found in the stomach, according to Rabbi al Fasi, is not considered milk, and it is permitted to cook meat in it, even the clear part of it. Rambam and Rashi forbid it, writing that it is complete milk, even the curdled part. How much more so the clear part? So we see from here that Rabbi al Fasi is Mekel, which means he is lenient, but Rashi and, Ma and Rambam are not. They are Mahmoud. Uh, Rabbi Tom differenti differentiates both cases. The curl part is not milk, but the clear part is milk. Therefore, if one salts the stomach with its milk, it is forbidden due to meat and milk, since salting is like boiling. Similarly, if it's stood for one day because pickling is like cooking, and if one set cheeses in it, they have absorbed taste. They are forbidden, according to Rashi, even the curl part. And according to Rabbi Tom, only the clear part specifically, and so concludes the Rosh. Alright, you've seen it. We put the ancient food laws to the test, and the results were mind-blowing. We've navigated through history, busted myths, and uncovered some delicious truths. If you're, if you're amazed, 
by what you've seen and want to join us on more uh, on more of these stories, smash that like button and hit the subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single wild ride. We've got plenty more on that, where this came from.